Welcome back to Blanco Bronco Adventures, and today we're installing the one, the only Bronc bushing from Bronc Buster. You know, we've done all the other steering upgrades. We got the tie rod braces, we got the end housing, and well, talking with Tyler, he says that this is like the most important part to do to the Bronco, and it probably should be the first part to put on the Bronco on the steering. Well, it's going to be our last one because. That's the way we do things. So for step number one, all you gotta do is remove the outer nut on the tie rod. Then we're gonna remove our buster brace. Then we're gonna pull our boot back and take the entire tie rod off. <laughs> so now, let's track down some Allen wrenches and get that buster brace out of the way. Now that we got our buster brace out of the way, we're going to remove our little clamp holding on our outer portion of the boot. Then you're going to take a flat blade screwdriver, you're going to stick it in right on the lip of the clamp that's already in there, smack it, and that should break it right off. Now you should be able to pull your boot all the way out. Just like so. So when we stuck that in there, that's what we did. We just put our flat head right there, and it pops that off. We're going to replace that with a hose clamp. Don't worry. It's going to be better. Now, we got to just simply remove our tie rod. Take your wrench. This should be fairly tight. <clears throat> Once you get it broke loose, it should just spin right off. Just like that. Now you got a tie rod. So now that we've got the tie rod removed, we need to turn the steering wheel all the way passenger. The reason for that is right now there is a little plastic piece in there from the factory that we've got to extract out of there. We gotta get it out of the way. So Turn it all the way passenger, gives you a little more room to be able to get in and get that out. We got a good trick that we learned from a friend, so hopefully it comes out pretty easy. So when we were down in Texas, our good friend Frank with a lifted Bronco, you know who you are, we replaced your coil over, you know, that was a great time. He taught us that anytime you're doing a bushing, you just simply screw a screw into the factory plastic piece that's already there then you can just reach in there with a pair of pliers pull on that screw and then that bushing comes right out so we're gonna give that a shot because this is the first one i've done so i hope you're right frank thanks for the good advice just like that frank you're the man we get to finally put in our Bronc Buster bushing. Comes with a snap ring and the bushing. So, if you look at it, there is an oblong side of it. And if you look in your steering rack, there is an oblong hole side of there as well. So all you gotta do is kinda mesh those up when you slide this in, and when you tap it in, this will just seat right into place. Now a couple things to note, this is, fancy plastic it's not just regular old plastic there was some thought and some design going into this guy also the o-ring is just there to take up a little bit of the you know space so if you knock this in and a little bit of the o-ring comes out kind of tears totally fine that just means it's making a good seal it's doing what it's supposed to so let's just pop this in they've even got you covered with an install tool once you get this in place Put your install tool there, give it a couple, you know, rat ta tap with the hammer, and it just will seat right into place. When you can feel the hammer bouncing back off of this, you know you're fully seated in there. Then all we gotta do is install our snap ring. It's literally that simple. So you get your bushing slid into place, and you'll kind of feel when it locks into that oblong side of it. Then simply take your install tool, Hold it up in here and just give it a few whacks. And 
Now, when you hear that sound change, you know you're all the way seated in there. Just like that, see how we got just a fine little strand off that O-ring? That's normal, that's okay. Now, all we gotta do is put our snap ring into place and then use our install tool to tap it in also. And just like that, your snap ring now seated into place so that bushing can't potentially come backwards. Now, all we gotta do, simply just put our tie rod back on and put the Bronco back together. It's literally that easy. First, we're gonna turn all the way driver. Now that we've got our tie rod tightened back on, take your provided hose clamp, throw it over this, then don't forget to put your buster brace back on because with the buster brace, the bushing, and the housing, we got the ultimate steering package. You can find these parts on BronkbusterTX.com or Next Gen Bronco Parts and Accessories. So I'm gonna grab the buster brace and get all this tightened up and we're making progress here. So now that we've got the ultimate steering package on the Bronco, just gets my brain going of buy quality parts. You know, if you just go with the cheap brand, well, are you rich? Because the only people, in my opinion, that can afford to buy cheap parts are people that have a d disposable income that can replace those parts and, you know, do it again. But for guys like me, I'm going to invest my hard-earned money in quality parts the first time. That way... I don't have to worry about replacing them that second or third time. You do it right. Bronk Buster's got you covered. Go check them out. They do some pretty cool stuff. Tyler is willing to roll his Bronco to make better parts. Get off the couch and go create an adventure. See you next time. Bronco Bronco Adventures.